It is so close to the end of summer. So I decided I'm going to whip out my last two summer manicures for you before the season's officially gone. And uh, I have been dying to do some nautical nails ever since these plates came out. I am obsessed with these. I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, they're just, I think I just see, like, I look at these plates and just get inspired. There's so much you could do with all the different designs on these ocean theme plates that Maniology has been putting out this year that I don't think I'm ever going to need any more again because they've included pretty much everything you could possibly need. Um, on this plate, it is the M103. I'm going to pick up this image that's a life preserver and it says rock the boat. I'm also going to let you know now that this is like the curse of the nautical manicure. Uh, it was just a little bit of a struggle bus. I had some smearing issues. It was just, you'll see, you'll see. I'll show you how I fix things. Um, I am going to go in and reverse stamp this image for the rock the boat. And to do that, I'm just going to fill in the white sections of the life preserver first and then go in with cherry bomb and fill in the lettering and the kind of straps that are around the life preserver. I couldn't remember, are those red or orange? I swear when I was growing up they were orange. But I couldn't remember. So I made them red, whatever. We're doing reverse stamping here and just keep in mind on this, you have to make sure that you give this plenty of time to dry. Um, these letters are teeny teeny tiny, so if you're getting old like me, you might need glasses. <laughs> and I am just putting down a base coat of Bam White from Maniology. I'm going to grab this color Double Bubble. This was in one of the boxes over the summer. Um, the bubble box. Uh -huh. Go figure. And um, this is an old Maniology plate. It's from the Bundle Monster. It was kind of like a core set. I think it had about 10 plates in it that were different. Just kind of your basic, you know, like chevrons, diagonals, honeycombs, bricks, polka dots, that kind of stuff. It was actually a really nice set. I don't think it's still for sale anymore, but if you can find it on a D-stash or something, it's worth picking up. Um, this one is kind of like a candy cane striping almost, and I wanted to use this as the background stripes on the nail, but man, I was having a hard time getting this to pick up. Um, I couldn't even get it to pick up with the ice cube stamper, so I grabbed the monocle stamper and tried that one and uh, stamped off camera like I haven't been doing this for almost a year now. Um, <laughs> and got that lovely, lovely, lovely look. So I'm taking, an, it's an old e.l.f. highlighter brush and using that to just brush everything off as much as I can. This is why, like, if you learn nothing else from my channel, you need to put a top coat in between your color and your stamp layer. And this is exactly why. See, I was able to get most of that off and I can go back in and kind of fake it till you make it back on top of it. It's not going to be perfect, but who's going to notice that? Nobody. Me and you, just because we're watching this video, me screwing it up. And I also didn't want to just do horizontal stripes like a lot of people do for nautical stuff. I thought it would be fun to kind of go on a diagonal, do things just a little bit different. And man, this was just not happening with this pattern on this nail. I don't know what was going on. It just didn't want to stick right. So there comes a point when you have to go, all right, I'm rolling with what happens. And that's what I did. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to make it look as good as I can. It is what it is. There's no point in fighting over it. I'm not going to take it off and do it over. It looks close enough. As you can see, I'm just having a heck of a time getting this image to pick up. I don't know if it was the combo of this image and that polish. Because that polish kind of is glittery, like it's a metallic. But even here, when I pick it up, like it tried to fold back on itself a little bit. I think it's just that it dried super fast and it was so close together that it just, mm, not really a good image off that plate, I don't think. Because it got to the point where I was even doing like my super, oh, we had a cat quake again. It's been a while. It has been a while. But my lovely little darling Himikins, Himmy is his name, but I call him Master Himikins. Um... Mm. Yeah, he likes to rub on my lights and stuff, so when he does that, it shakes the tripod. And I'm going to stamp down this rock the boat or not. Um, so, if you don't use a sticky base coat, this can happen. However, 
you just go back in, line it back up and press it down again and just kind of hold it and then pick it up very, very slowly and it will deposit the stamp onto your nail. Now, when I relined it back up, I did it a little bit crooked because again, this was like the curse of the nautical manicure, but overall it looked okay. Now I'm going to go in and grab the wheel. What do you even call that? The steering wheel. <laughs> I'm sure it has a real name. Can you tell I'm not a major boater? I don't know. It's the helm. We're going to use the helm. I'm going to stamp this down with gold. I see people do this all the time. These pretty gold stamps on top of blue stripes. Did that work for me at all? No. So I went back in with boba and spiced orange. That's boba and then spice orange on top of it to kind of double stamp highlight it and that made it look so much better so really this is not a cursed manicure this is this is a video on how to fix crap when it all goes wrong because <laughs> if it could go wrong in this mani it went wrong i'm surprised that bam white didn't just slide right off my fingertip <laughs> that was the kind of day i was having with it and see, this is the anchor shape, and I'm just going down with boba first, and then I'm going to double stamp over it with the spiced orange. Spiced orange, highly recommend. Uh, it's beautiful. It stamps perfect every time, and for fall manis, it's like a must-have. It's, it's really just stunning. Like, buy two bottles. That's how much I like it. Buy two bottles of coconut. That's how much I like it. That is everything all finished up. And as you can see, it came out cute. Not quite what I was hoping for, but it was still okay. It was okay. So let me know what you think. Um, there's another video in the right-hand corner if you want to watch it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.